we're doing here is we we undid remember I had the skirt basted to the bodice mm -hmm. and so I've unbasted the skirts no longer attached to the bodice I'm putting the zipper in the back um, we looked when we had the dress on Lily and there was no need to put the zipper in any of the layers of netting. Because, Yay! <laughs> yeah, it, it just, it looked fine. You couldn't tell where the gap, the gap in the back was anyway. And so we're just putting the zipper now into the back of the skirt. And then Rosalie here is checking the um, gaps in the back of the netting. Some of them are longer than others. Um, none of them need to certainly be any longer than the shortest one that we already have here. And we're going to be trying this. Lily's just going to be stepping. Lily doesn't know this. She's just going to be stepping into the netting, not any of the other layers. Oh. Um, and we're just going to see how small we can make that gap because it only needs to be big enough for you to be able to step through mm -hmm. easily without ripping it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't need to be any, any deeper than that. And so we're finding out what is that dimension, and then she's going to take and sew. You know that little bit you still have a bug in there he's going to find out what that is and then sew the rest of them up to that same amount and Yay. then we're going to sew that onto this <laughs> i am using here <laughs> rosalie's hiding under the tool you can't see her I'm not you. okay she's not here okay so I forgot to mention that the kind of zipper we're using in the back here is what's called an invisible zipper, first of all, because it's invisible and then you can't see it. Second of all, I love invisible zippers. It's a little <laughs> tricky to, you have to remember, okay, wait, this goes up and then this turns like this and so on. There's instructions usually that come with the invisible zipper, so to tell you how to do it. But unlike regular zippers, you sew along this edge here and then it's not seen. If you don't sew close enough, you sew a second time and you don't even have to take out that other extra bit of stitching. If you mess up five times, you just keep sewing it until you get it right and you don't have to take out any of the extra stitches unless it gets really, really stiff because you've stitched it so many times. Okay. So it's kind of a mistake-proof zipper. Mm. I highly recommend, if you've never tried one, I highly recommend them. Sewing of an invisible sewing zipper. Sewing of an invisible zipper. So you do use a zipper foot. It's kind of a lie. It's more of a hidden zipper. It's a hidden zipper. It's yeah, not Yeah, it's not truly. invisible because that would be, then it wouldn't show anything. Uh, and it's, but it's in the seam and it, it's... You can't it's see it when it's zipped. Zipped, unless you're wearing right. something tight and then it'll pull and you'll be able to... You, you put your um, zipper, I mean your, your needle, I'm trying to get it lined up here properly right next to where the, the teeth are there and then you just sew right along and you go oh no I'm gonna sew too close it's almost <laughs> impossible to sew too it is possible to sew too close but it's not easy to sew too close So that's one side, and after I put that in the other side, I'll show you how it closes up. Okay. Okay, so here's the back of the dress now. It's got its invisible zipper. Yep. Pull it up to the top. Ooh, ah. Uh, Hides in the that. seam. Um, the zipper is a little too long, which is fine, um, to make sure that it doesn't try to zip past the dress. Mm -hmm. um, you go down to the back side, um, take a needle and thread. And you just go around where you want the zipper to stop. You just sew around the, the teeth here. Go around and around several times so that it, the, there's no way it can zip past that point. Mm -hmm. And then you can cut off the extra. There's no reason to have that extra tail. Okay. So that's the zipper. Okay. Go. So one thing that we learned on the many, many, that I didn't mention, on the many, many times we put together the front of this to try and make it go smooth, <laughs> is that if I have two rows of stitching very close to each other, like like that far apart, um, across this curve of the bust, it helps make that seam just a little bit stiffer, because we are having problems with rippling. Mm. And by having two parallel rows of stitching along that seam, it was almost like you put a very thin piece of boning along that seam. It just stiffened it up a little bit, and that's why we're not having the ripple effects we were having before. Huh. The other joy of this particular technique is when 
as we're doing our last fine tuning fitting, any place that happens to stick out a little bit, you just sew it in a little bit and you don't have to unstitch the old stitching. Yay! But if you're having problems with a curve where it's just getting that sort of ridges of fabric across it, doing two parallel rows of stitching very close to each other adds just enough stiffness to make it run smoothly. Oh. So that's what I'm doing. I already did the other row of stitching. Now I'm just fine tuning. Okay. I'm going to be finishing up um, the bodice at home, and so I'm going to tell about what I'm going to do because it'll be invisible when I come back. <laughs> it'll just be completed. And so we've got this fitted so it fits her perfectly. Yay! Um, I still haven't done the trimming and stuff in the back. I haven't sewn. I have to sew this part together in the back. Mm -hmm. So we have some finishing details we're going to do. We're going to do, you know, we've talked about clipping before. Um, the lining here, I've tacked it in a couple places in the back where I pulled down the lining and then I've just taken thread and tacked it around at the places where the boning are. Mm. And this just ensures that there's no way that pink is going to pop up to the top. Mm -hmm. And so I'll be doing that throughout. Um, we had picked up this incredibly Ooh, lovely ribbon. Remember the ribbon? <laughs> um, and so what this does is this is going to sit around and the inside right with these notches here are at the waistline. Mm -hmm. And so this is just going to sit inside this along the waistline and I'm going to tack it at key points along the way. And what this does is it just it basically acts like a waistline inside the dress. So all of the skirt weight of the skirt is pulling off of a waistband. Mm -hmm. It's like a hidden waistband inside the dress. Mm -hmm. The weight of the dress is pulling off the waistband. It's not pulling on the whole bodice. Okay. So the whole bodice isn't being pulled off your body. All the weight of the skirt is just going off the waist. Mm -hmm. And so I'll be putting that in there. And then I'll be... The zipper right now goes all the way to the top. The zipper kind of shows at the top, so mm -hmm. we need that not to happen. Mm -hmm. So the zipper is going to be pulled down, you know, just the top a little bit down to about here. And I'm going to sew a hook and eye at the top there, so it'll hook closed at the top. And mm -hmm. that way it'll be hidden. And we'll be, you know, this will be stitched over and it'll be all neat and tidy. It'll be surged along the bottom edge. So when I come back on Tuesday... It'll look like a completed bodice. Yay! And then we'll sew the skirt together. We'll sew the skirt onto the bodice. And we'll trim the netting. Ah! Uh, and then, except for any decorations you choose. That's to put it. it. Oh, we have to do the eyelet. Eyelets, right. So your job will be to look at ribbons. Right. We'll look at ribbons. So okay. it's conceivable... It's probably not going to happen because it never does. But it's conceivable <laughs> that it will be done, done on Tuesday. Tuesday. If not Tuesday, certainly whenever the next time after that we get together. Yay! <laughs> thank you so much. Yes, thank you, Penny. You are awesome. Oh, no and problem. all our, our lovely workers. Thank you, Rosalie. Thank you, Rosalie. We love you. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> be afraid. Bye, till next time. Bye. Bye.